guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm gonna be filming a very simple fall smoky eye it's gonna incorporate some oranges and berry I'm really excited for this look I'm actually gonna be dipping in to the 9d palette from Morphe for this whole look it's gonna come straight from here if these colors don't scream fall I do not know what does like this palette is just fall and it's so beautiful so let's get started for starters I already did my brows with the ultra fine and defined pencil from covergirl the make me brow from essence and I prime my eyes with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and no, no not the Too Faced Born This Way foundation the behind the scenes eyeshadow primer from Lorac and I set it with the loose fit me powder from Maybelline okay let's start all right for starters, I'm gonna go in with this peachy shade right over here. It kinda reminds me of Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. And then I'm gonna take my big transition brush. I want this to be this look to be kind of wispy. And I'm just gonna start with my shadow. This color is so pretty. No, it has more depth than Peach Smoothie, but it's really nice. <clears throat> yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with this color right over here. Sorry, the names are on this, the little card, but I guess I'll, so the first one I went in with, with was Bucket List, which is right here, and now I'm gonna go in with Panoramic, which is right over here. It's kinda like, a yellowy orange and it's so pretty I'm kind of bringing it down onto my lid because I'm not really differentiating the colors like that um, but yeah plus if you do that you have less work to do on your lid you know Okay, I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush and I'm gonna take this one, it's the JH35. And I'm gonna take this shade right over here, it's called Horizon. And I'm kinda gonna do the same thing and like put it over here and then all over my lid. Get me some color on there, girl, yeah. So just like that. And then if you want, you can add some shimmer later. I might do that. But for now, this is what I'm doing. My eyes are really bothering me this morning. I don't know why. Go with next. I'm gonna go in with this one right over here. It's called High Temp, and I'm gonna take this brush. It's the JH33. I'm gonna take my transition brush one more time, and actually, no, I'm not. Well, yeah, I am. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna take the lightest orange, which is right over here, and blend. I might dip into a shadow from one more palette, just one shadow, just so I can deepen up my, um, the pinks, not the pink, the berry, and yeah, I just want to make sure it's all piggy, pigmented. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to dip into one shadow, and it's from the James Charles and Morphe palette. I don't know the name of this shade, but it's this one right over here. Yeah, I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of this. Just to bring some depth to the eye. Yeah, that's it. 
so pretty okay that's it now i'm gonna take a little shimmer just because i have it it's like in the same palette i'm gonna take this one right over here and put this on my lid i'm just gonna use my finger it's the easiest thing to do So it's 71 here today in Jersey, and I'm so excited that I'm getting to wear fall clothes, long sleeves, you know, actually wear my jeans down instead of rolling them up a little bit. Yeah, the fall makes me so happy. And And it looks so pretty and so fall like and if you really want to you can add one of these two shimmer shades right over here this one or this one um i might do a little bit of the bronze a little not too much let's see yeah that's pretty i'm loving it but all right yeah all right Yeah, that's it. This is so pretty. Oh, yay! All right. Now I'm going to do my liner. I want liner with this look for sure. Um, so I'm going to take my favorite, the Line Stiletto from Maybelline, and do a wing. I'm taking my dog with me to meet her dog for the first time. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so he she has a big dog. Like, like I've said in other videos, his name is Guinness and he's a black lab. And he's 70 pounds. So my dog is 9.6 the last time we went to the vet. So we might be 10. Um, and imagine the size difference. Brownie is so tiny here. I'll show you. Hey, Brownie bear. Come here, Brownie. Come here, come here. Come here. One, two, three. Yes. You can keep your ball. I'm not taking it. See, look how small Brownie is, right? And then with Guinness, he's gonna be even. He's gonna look even tinier. Love you. Yeah. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I want to see them like interact and have fun with each other. Yeah. So. And it's 71, like I said, in Jersey. And brownie gets so cold so easily. So, I'm sorry, excuse me. So cold so easily. So, I took him out one day when it was like 78. He was so cold. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to be putting a shirt on him today. So he can keep warm. Yeah? Oh, you want your ball. His ball rolled under my makeup table. Hold on. Okay. Is this what you want? Yeah. That's what you want. All right. Now, I am think I'm done with my wing. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of straighten up the lines a little bit. That's it. So now I'm gonna do my face and I'm gonna go in with my favorites right now. This uh, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Primer from ColourPop. My hands are a little dirty, so. All right, from my shadows, I'm gonna go in with half a pump. You don't need any more, this stuff goes a long way. All right, and now I'm gonna just rub it onto my face. Yeah, when you think you blended it all out, you find more like in between your fingers and you're just like, 
Ow. <laughs> So I straightened my hair for the first time since I dyed it, and I actually really like how it looks straight. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm happy about that because I only I honestly thought I would only like it curly, but I have to I like it straight, so you can really see the color. It's obviously not straight right now because I slept on it last night, but I'm gonna go over it again. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with my Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal in the shade Classic Ivory. I'm gonna go in with my Kabuki brush from Sigma, the F80, and I'm gonna blend this out. Press some stuff on here. Yep. Mm -hmm. This foundation is so nice. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna recommend this to my mom. She has normal skin, so she can wear like the Pro Matte and um, the Super Safe from Maybelline, but she likes to glow sometimes too. So I'm going to, this is definitely something I will recommend to her. I'm, when she sees my skin, she'll, you know, believe me, obviously, but, and I'll tell her it's like, it's the Pro Glow. Like honestly, this foundation makes my skin look super nice and I just feel good about my skin when I wear this foundation, even though I feel good about it all the time. Like, I don't care that I have some scars on my face from my migraine shots. It doesn't matter to me. Like, I know I have migraines, so I'm not gonna sit here and be what, insecure about them. But yeah, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my concealers. One for underneath my eye and one for all over my face. So this one is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer from ColourPop in the shade Fair 07C. Just a little swipe. Then I'm gonna go in with the um, Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in the shade Ivory and I'm gonna cover up whatever I don't like. So I'm gonna put a little bit more over there. My skin's looking pretty good lately. Um, and I think it's because, I forgot to blend over there, shit. <laughs> and I think it's because of the, um, this moisturizer. It's from Glam Glow. It's the Moisture Strip Omega Rich Moisturizer. And apparently it, um, it gets rid of redness. And it really does. My face isn't as red anymore and I love it. So, yeah, so first I'm gonna blend out the dots on my face and then I'm gonna go in under my eyes. Now I'm gonna blend out with this brush. This brush really has been a favorite lately. I mentioned it in my August favorites because it makes my concealer blend out so fast. And it I don't cake up, which I love because back in the day, which more like two months ago before I got the, the Fit Me Concealer, um, my eyes used to be so crepey and it was just so bad. Now, they're not, and my I feel like my under eyes look pretty. Give me one sec. Let me just set my under eyes with uh, some powder, and then I'll take care of him and get him some food, because it's his meal time right now, and I'm filming over it. I'm coming, baby, I'm coming. Okay, I'll be right back. My hungry baby boy. Yeah, so now, I'm going to set my face because I didn't do that before I left. Right. I'm gonna take um, 
the matte and coral is from Maybelline, which is my fave. And I'm gonna set it with that brush I always use, this one. I need more of this stuff, it's pan. <laughs> Central. I might go over this part of my face again with some translucent powder so it doesn't come off in my mask because I'm gonna end up taking him out to use the bathroom before my mom gets here. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use this set it again with some translucent powder. Okay. So I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take the loose one from Aileen because it kinda, it's the same color. I'm not asking, I don't want extra coverage, I just want some set, some of it set. So I'm gonna take the same brush, just tap in there. Yeah, that should, that'll do it. And then just a tiny bit on my nose. All right, yeah, perfect, yay. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with my contour. I'm gonna use, um, well, my contour and my bronzer. I'm gonna use um, the Kylie bronzer, this one from her holiday palette. It's toasty, but it comes in a, in a full size. I'm gonna use this to contour my cheeks today. first world problems but when I do my eyes I I, I love to wear a glossy lip so I, it kind of upsets me now that w since I have to wear a mask I can't wear a gloss underneath it, it makes me sad because I, I just love a I just love gloss so much but it's funny how our makeup preference has changed because I used to prefer a matte Oh, I love a gloss. I really do. Or like a regular bullet lipstick. I might go out, go um, in with a matte lipstick underneath. Now I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm gonna go in with the Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush from NYX in the shade Bang Bang. It's the perfect fall shade, it really is. blush all right that's it now I'm gonna go in with my lower lash line my nose itches right here now I'm gonna go in with my lower lash line I'm gonna take um, the shade I use from the, the James Charles palette this one right over here how so big all right and I'm gonna take my flat definer brush I'm gonna mix it with the shade that I used in the Morphe palette And I'm gonna take that berry from the James Charles palette and this cranberry, so it's still berry, from the Morphe palette. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner of my eye, uh, I mean of my lower lash line like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. All right, just like that. Now, I'm gonna blend it out with the shades I'm gonna put on my inner, the inner part of my inner, uh, of my lower lash line. I'm gonna take my pencil brush, which is the JH39, and I'm gonna, I don't need this anyway. And I'm gonna take the darker orange, like the true orange, and I'm gonna, See, I don't think I want that. I'm gonna take the lighter orange and I'm going to 
start over here on my inner corner like that and then I'm gonna start blending that shadow out on the outer corner just like that nice wisp okay do the same thing on this eye That was so pretty. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that light orange and just make sure my eyes are one even and two really blended out because we don't like harsh lines up in here. Just like that, such a pretty look. Um, just to make sure that the, I still, you can see the red, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that in the red, the cranberry in the 9D palette and just kind of go over this a little tiny bit, just like that, just so you can see it. Cause I felt like I blended it out too much. But if you like it like that, it's fine. I just wanna, yeah, that's perfect. Now, I'm going to do my mascara. I'm going to use the Voluminous from L'Oreal and the shade Black is Black. Yeah, just like that. So pretty. All right. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm going to take... Uh, the Master Chrome Highlighter from Make uh, Maybelline. I was about to say Make It Geez. And I'm going to take my flat brush, which is the JH42. And I'm just going to apply some of this to my brow bone. Now I'm going to take um, some of this powder. Uh, not powder. This spray. It's the Glow Mist from Pixi. I'm just going to put my hair back so it doesn't get wet. All right, and now I'm gonna highlight. Um, I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna mix the Master Chrome highlighter and the champ and my Champagne Pop to create the perfect highlight for me right now, or the perfect highlight for me today. I, I wear them both on on their own. Right now, I'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks and to all my high points. So I'm gonna go in with, this shade is so pretty. I'm gonna go in with Buttercup from Gerard. Oh, this is so pretty. A little bit of pretty in and a little bit of add a girl. It's, gonna, it's a glossy lip, I can't. So a little bit of pretty in. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. Just like that. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of Adder Girl and do the same thing. So pretty. Yep, that's it. That's my lip. I'm so happy. All right. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it for you with these fall oranges, cranberries, berries. Oh, they're so pretty. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. I love you.